Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to Omen here in EU4 Common Sense version 1.13 beta. I don't know what episode this is. All I know is we are at war with France, and France is kicking the Ottomans around like a sad little puppy dog. This is actually quite fun to watch, for me at least, because we're gonna have to beat up the com we're gonna have to beat up the Ottomans at some point. And just the fact that someone is able to kick the Ottomans' teeth in. I mean, these battles are just ridiculous. France's morale and his tactics are insanely high. Insanely high. And I don't ever want to have to come up against that. At least not, not the blue blob. But this is going to be a good time to find a way to turn on the Ottomans. Right now, the Ottomans have 99,000 troops with 65,000 manpower. France, alternatively, has... No manpower, but 165,000 troops, 51 mercenaries, and he's still kicking ass. 51 mercs, and he's still kicking ass. He doesn't care. He doesn't care that he has a merc army. Rebels. Hi. Oh, oh, kill my air. Kill my air. Kill my air, please. I beg of you. No? Damn it, they didn't kill my air. I asked you so nicely, and you didn't kill my air. Oh, well. Welcome back. You did not miss nothing. I wouldn't want to deprive you of this glorious... Look at this. France attacking into the mountains gives no fucks. Kicks ass anyway. No fucks given. No fucks given. Let's see, positive 42 on Russia. I really believe as soon as we can rival the Ottomans and break our alliance, Russia will suddenly want to be an ally. That's what's going to happen. Oh, wow, he's greedy. Oh, because of my subsidies. Shit, I should have given him the gift... I should have given him the gift before I done before I did subsidies, but I didn't. Well, that's a little disappointing, but it's all right. Get him, France! Get him, France! Squish him flat, make him cry. God, look at that morale just get collapsed. That is nuts. How quickly the Ottoman morale just gets ravaged. France barely lost anyone in that battle. Kutai's westernizing off of me. Oh, that's fun. Or maybe he's westernizing off of uh, Spain or the Portuguese or something. I don't know. France has a black flagged army over here being all black flaggy. He'll unblack flag once he gets to Constantinople, but will he be smart enough to go there? I don't know. This same army has been running around Black Flag for about two years already. Seems pretty dumb. Well, he might make it. He's going the right way. Hey, mercantilism. Nice. He's going the right way. Is he going to make it? I think he's going to make it. Oh, we finished a colony in Medag. Nice. Okay, so where to next? We finished... We finished Sakam and Medag. Should we head to Siberia? Muscovy's already there. All right, screw that. Uh, we could finish up the Philippines. We probably will do that. Let's get Palawan while it's available. Yeah, eight's pretty nice. Okay, where's the transports? Here. Okay. I'm still upset that Portugal got an event to steal a colony from us right before my colonist arrived. It was just so bullshit. The salt was real for that. That was some serious salt. Mission? What's the next mission? No, these are terrible missions. Stop giving me these bullshit missions. Please, please stop giving me these missions. I don't need these crappy missions. 
I don't want these crappy missions. Nope. France got one province away from, from removing the black flag, and he decides he likes the black flag. He's going to keep the black flag. He almost made it. And suddenly the Ottomans are losing this war. Ottomans are down to 48,000 troops. Wow. Nice. And it's tech up time. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, that feels good. What did we get? No new units? No, no new units. But at least we're tech 21 now. We're catching up, man. We are one behind the Ottomans. Being Western is nice. Everything is just so cheap, you know? All right, free diplomat. Well, we can't really do much about Russia. Can't really do much about the common dirt. Could do Spain, perhaps. Spain might be helpful. Maybe. Spain's right on the cusp of accepting, whereas Russia is a little bit farther off because of the way alliances are right now. Yeah, if we can remove the Commonwealth as a rival and set the Ottomans and then... Yeah, that'll just be amazingly good for us. Alright, what can we do here? What would it cost to get 25 relations through a gift? 200 ducats. 175 ducats. That's not that bad. I'll just go ahead and pay it. Yep, cores are coming in. Good. We have one more core in Brunei, and then we are all done. Now, if we declare on the Ottomans, Bengal will join against us, won't they? Because Bengal is defender of the Sunni faith. It's so frustrating. Something we got to deal with it. Oh, shit. The war's over. The war is over. The knights have been full annexed. Somehow the Ottomans won that war. Even though they were losing the overall war, they somehow won the war. Interesting. Unexpected. Completely unexpected that the Ottomans won that war. I thought for sure with their capital sieged, they would just pe what, white piece out or something. Shows what I know. Damn. And now the Ottomans can rebuild. He's at 50k troops with 34 manpower. How many loans did he take? That's kind of important. He took three loans. Hmm. No, I'm not going to give you my trade power. Shut up, go away. That, that's a kind of a disappointing result there. I was really hoping that war would go on longer. All right, let's go ahead and sell him his province back. It's his core. You can have it for free. And now he'll vassalize. Okay, we just got to get a little more relations, which we can do through trade power. All right, so I was worried it wouldn't be able to happen, but going to be easy. Trade one vassal for another. How stupid is that, right? And we're going to have to demand he converts religion. What a waste. What a waste having to get another vassal here. I just annexed this vassal. And I have to do it again. But I gotta wait 10 years. <laughs> and that's stupid. Alright, you're my little bitch. Good. Stop giving you subsidies. Why can't we do Darna? Oh, does it have religious bullshit? It does. Religious zeal. For another nine years. Okay. And yeah, a war with the Ottomans. 
looking a lot less likely right now. I was really hoping that war would go on longer. He's up to 62k. It's gonna have to wait. It's gonna have to wait. God, I can't believe that. That really sucks. Man, Borneo is a mess. How are we doing on truce, by the way? Five, eight years. What about... Now, he has cores I could feed. Timurids, Persia, Yarkand, and Delhi. Now, I'm betting. I'm betting I could go to war with Persia, and I don't think Bomanis would help. Wait, but Delhi's allied to Persia. Damn it. Oh, what about Tabaristan? Bukhara. We can fight Bukhara. Okay, that's the plan. We're going to go to war with Tabaristan, because Bomanis is getting fucked in a war right now. Absolutely fucked. So we'll go to war with Tabaristan. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be feeding my vassal. I'm going to be taking the land for myself. But them's the breaks, yo. I might as well fabricate on Persia while we're here. Spare diplomat and all that jazz. What's this? Rebels in Palawan. Oh, I forgot to bring my troops down there. Whoops. Here, have my heir. Please kill my heir. And please get there before they finish their siege, please. We're not going to get there, are we? Fuck. We're going to lose the colony. Oh, we're going to be just a little bit late. We're almost there. I forgot to bring him down. I had my ships there and I forgot to bring him down. Oh, we might make it. We made it. Oh, just barely. Kill my heir. You didn't kill my heir. Well, at least we made it. You didn't kill my heir, but at least we made it. Okay. Whew. We almost lost that colony there. That would have been disappointing. All right, go back to Brunei. But yeah, Bamanis is in no position to defend Tabaristan. Defender of the Faith means nothing right here. So just fabricate a few claims, we'll go to war. Palawan into a city. Remove a Juran from the map. Now that is something I can do. Except there's a fucking Defender of the Sunni Faith, isn't there? Oh, but he's, he's my religion. There's no defender of my religion. Oh my god, but it's going to be 250 points to core that. Ugh. Gross. Eh, whatever. At least it's a decent mission. It's better than every other mission we've had lately. Fucking bullshit missions. Whoa. Whoa, Ottomans suddenly don't like us. Competing great power have caused us belly. Wants your provinces. Eh? We're getting there. We're getting there. We've reached the uncomfortable zone where he's feeling a little weak right now, so he's looking to beat up his neighbor. Well, that's just rude, Ottomans. That's just rude. I'm telling you, I won't stand for none of that. Timurids have no allies. But they're still defender of the Sunni faith. Would they join? Yeah, he would join. Bengal would join. Hmm. Does that matter? Do I really care if Bengal joins? Yeah, I do care. I wonder if I can get Delhi to ally. I can. Do I want that? I kind of do, but that'll put me over the limit by one. Uh... Tempting. Very tempting. How goes the colonizing? It goes okay. We kind of got fucked a little bit. Spain and Portugal just exploded over... Well, mostly Portugal. Just exploded over here. And Portugal actually stole one of our colonies. Not through war or anything. He stole it through an event. It was like, what? Bullshit. It happens, I guess. Well, anyway, hurry up with these claims, please. I guess I'll claim some of Kiva as well. He's got no allies, so I might as well. 
Claim all of Kiva. We'll eat him. Nom nom nom. At least we got our manpower back. We're sitting at 70k manpower, where just a, just a couple years ago we were at negative 20k or something. It was crazy bad. Now it's fine. Is that Britain versus Sweden? What the? Why is Livonia... No what the f... When did this happen? Okay, Twitch chat, did anyone notice that the Livonian Order owns Stockholm and Finland? Why didn't I notice this? When did this happen? Annexed by the Livonian Order, 1688. So, nine years ago, the Livonian Order ate Stockholm. Huh. Ally of Russia and the Commonwealth. Oh, that'll do it. He's just allied to the two biggest nations in Eastern Europe. That, that'll do it. Are we going to feed the Knights Greece? No, because the Ottomans annexed the Knights. That's uh, an opportunity missed. Unfortunately. Wow, we are almost done converting. There's only one province left to convert, and we can't convert it because it has religious zeal. This is the last province in the nation that is the wrong religion. That's it. Just this one. That's it. Wah, 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 wah. Okay, we've got three claims over here. Let's get a claim over here. Maybe Bajnord? Kumis? I don't really care. A any of this shit is good. Let's go for more Persian provinces. Let's go for Semnon. The more Persian we get, the more likely it'll become accepted culture. Now, I'm willing to bet that Bamanis won't join a war against me right now. Pretty sure he won't. Did we finish our colony? We sure did. Did we? Yeah, it's done. Okay, on the boat. And let's go colonize some more of the Philippines. Public Welfare Act? What? I can become defender of the Abadi faith. Nah. There's only a couple of Abadi nations. Oh, right. I need to demand Afghanistan converts before they convert their territory. Afghanistan, convert, you piece of shit. There you go. That's the spirit. I like how he goes from lukewarm happy to super happy as soon as I demand he converts. And he's still loyal, too. That's adorable. No. Becoming Defender of the Faith does not increase your conversion strength. It just gives you an extra missionary. Among other benefits. Man, Congo, stop rebelling, dude. Netherlands are fabricating on us. Croatia's westernizing. Well, that's fun. Wow, Alta Gracia finally finished. So you can't demand that I colonize there anymore, can you, game? No more of your stupid missions. But that does mean we need to get another colonist out. Or another colony started. Because we can handle four colonies at once. We might as well do it. So rip out of... I guess as soon as they arrive here, we could rip out of there and head out to one of these two. Yeah. Just one soldier's fine. Lost a claim on all of Persia. Oh, fuck me. Well, we gotta fabricate all over Persia again, folks. I guess our truce is up. When your truce is up, you lose. You usually lose all of your claims. Kind of silly. 
It's like, why, why do your claims on land you don't own, why do your claims extend all the way the length of the truce if you can't declare war during that truce? I mean, you can for a drop of two stability and a whole bunch of war exhaustion and a bunch of aggressive expansion for truce breaking, but not, not two stability, five stability, right? It, it's really bad truce breaking. You can do it at the loss of a whole bunch of things. Kind of feels like a waste, really. But that's the only way to get your land when you have a truce, right? So why keep the claims the entire length of the truce? I don't know. Sounds crazy. Oh, free stability? Well, thank you, game. This is why we have a level 3 advisor. Look at this happy level 3 advisor. He's 52 years old. He's about to die, but he's going to give us free stability before he goes. That's fantastic. That's so good. All right, so we've got most of the Philippines sewn up. There's two more that we haven't started yet, but we can start them soonish. And let's see, extra diplomat. What do I want to do? I guess I should keep fabricating on Persia. We got a lot of claims to do here, a lot. It's kind of neat to see Russia formed by someone that's not Muscovy. It's also kind of neat to see the Livonian Order crushing Sweden. Look at this. God damn it, Livonian Order. What are you doing? What kind of drugs are you on? Performance enhancing drugs. No shit, dude. We actually have nothing to core, and we can finally tech up. Oh, baby. Give me that tech. Give me that tech. Oh, Commonwealth just declared war on Crimea. Are you allied to the Ottomans? You sure as fuck are. Commonwealth is fighting the Ottomans? Yes. Okay, now this could be the killing blow for the Ottomans. This could be the point where we flip allegiances here. It could happen right now because the Commonwealth are invading the Ottomans. I want to see it go... Oh, Russia joined against the Ottomans. Yes. I want to see this just pound them into the ground. This could be real good. Okay, we got a claim on Semen. Let's get a claim on Kumis while we're here. His only ally is Bukhara, and Bamanis is in no... He's in no state to join against us. Defender of the faith, my ass. So we should be alright for a war with Tabaristan. I need to bring some troops up here, though. That's a really good thing to do. Where's my navy? There's my navy. Let's bring up this army. We'll just bring up, I don't know, 60k or something. Oh, we just lost a claim. Damn it, we're losing claims over here. We just lost Ardalon as a claim. Wait, where's Ardalon? Ardalon? Oh, that one. Okay. We can get that back, right? Oh, we're fabricating right now. We can't do it while we're fabricating. Okay, well, claim Kiva then. There you go. And yeah, we have an idea group right now, ready to go, but I'm going to keep teching up. I'm going to keep teching up. Make sure to have a claim on the Ottomans. I don't need it. My vassal Syria has one, two, three, four, five, six cores that I can feed him. No, five. Five cores that I can feed my vassal. So there's no point getting a claim. I don't need any of this land. All I need is my vassal's land. That's it. Why did you rival me? Why did France rival Oman? It's just so weird. I, I get it. It's because we're one of the colonizing nations, but it's just awkward. Wow. Crimea is already dead. 
He's already dead. Everything's sieged down. Dead. Wow. So now it's just the Ottomans. Oh, well, oh, first battle. I gotta see this. Gotta see this. Good luck, Common Derp. Now you can see the Common Derp doesn't have 7.7 .7 morale like France does, but he does have really good tactics. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Nice. Look at those losses. The Ottomans lost over 25,000 troops. Very nice. I'm gonna keep track of the Ottoman strength here. Where are they? 75. Okay, they're at 75. Let's see how low that goes. Hi, Smurg. Right, everything has cord. Very good. Still can't convert Darna because of religious zeal. All in all, we're doing okay. Now, when we declare on him, we're going to be fighting... Oh, I need to get rid of my military access, don't I? We're going to be fighting the Ottomans and Tunis, so I can't forget that Tunis exists over here. Did you westernize, by the way? Yeah, you did. Alright. So he's going to be a bit of a threat. Oh god, that Korean flag. <laughs> Alright, keep fabricating on Persia, please. Just all of it. Oh man, look how quickly the Ottoman morale just drops to zero. It's nuts. Ottomans lost 40-something thousand troops there. Oh, I love it. They don't have manpower for that. Oh goodness, this is good. They already have 34 mercenaries. Alright, did I pick up my army or did I forget about it? I forgot about it. I'm so focused on watching how badly the Ottomans are doing that I'm forgetting to pick up my armies. Just go dump them off. We'll go pick up more. But that is really nice to see. Did I colonize it? Did I forget to colonize this? I completely forgot to send the colonist here. Whoops. There you go. I don't know where my brain is, but it ain't here. Yeah, you siege Constantinople. Alright, so here's the Ottoman army. This is it. Uh, and it does look like the Ottomans have naval dominance, which is kind of disappointing. But I'm pretty sure the Commonwealth could find a way through Georgia. I'm pretty sure they could do that. And just come around the side here. He's probably going to finish sieging Constantinople first. That's my guess. Uh, taxes, sure. I like taxes. Wait, are the Ottomans going to attack across the strait? Looks like they might. Oh no, they're going to go to a deer and come around the side. That's smart. Oh, apparently Tuscany is also in this war. Yeah, Tuscany has joined the war on the Commonwealth side, which is great, because Tuscany's got fantastic tech, he's Western. Yeah. Probably got some good generals, too. Okay, maybe not so much on the generals. I wonder if I can get my navy over here and actually be effective. What do the Ottomans have? They have a fuckload of galleys. What do I have? Chopped liver? Probably. I have 123 lights, no galleys. I should build galleys. So that's what I'll do. Right here, I'm going to build galleys. 
we're going to say template 10 galleys. We're going to call it galleys. 10 jellies. There you go. Best way to spell galleys is jellies. Anyway, 10 jellies. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Is 100 too many? A hundred is probably too many. Whatever. We'll build a few of them and cancel the rest. But I am going to bring my ships over there. Okay, you need to pick up another army. Another 30k. Should I build another army? I certainly should. Let's build another army, folks. And we're going to get all of our navy over here in the Mediterranean. Can we sail around? Yeah, we have places to dock up here. We have Sao Tome and stuff. We can sail around, no problem. Pick up you. Oh, the heavies need to unmoth ball. In fact, heavies, why don't you start your journey? And we can heal up here in Cape Town with the heavies. But the trade ships can just go straight to the Mediterranean. Marketplace in the shipyard. 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 So well, there's a lot of shipyards here, which is great. Yeah. Might as well upgrade them to grand shipyards. Why not? Okay, looks good. But we are out of time for the episode today. Thank you guys for joining me. I've been Shen, you've been you. Come back next time, where I think we're going to be turning on the Ottomans. It's looking really likely here. Mmm. I'm even going to fabricate on them. I'm going to fabricate on Mosul. Mmm, Mosul. All right, I'll see you next time. Have a good day.